the 7th July 2024 and uh, now I'm recording because of the I get the answer of, of questions that I never thought that I should get and uh, uh, I will. I have wondering for many years now, since two thousand sixteen, uh, when I was in Jerusalem, two thousand sixteen, and uh, uh, there were someone that told me that I should buy a ticket for the museum in Jerusalem that have with uh, Zion's friend, the friends of Zion. And uh, I didn't know what it was, but I bought the ticket. It, it is very strange for you that I ha have not had this meeting with God, uh, how I can do these things. Uh, but I... Uh, I tell you, I don't think about it. I only do it. I don't think about tomorrow. I only do what I hear. And uh, it's not about kill people. It's uh, something to find out. And uh, I was wondering why I w was in this museum... That was someone told me that, and I don't know who told me that I should go to that museum. Uh, I am not a museum person, but I did that. I ordered a ticket when I was in Sweden, and, uh, and then I took a taxi from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, uh, because it was needed to come exactly in that time where where it was saying that the, on the ticket. So I needed a, a, a taxi. And uh, so I come to the museum in the right time. And uh, when I was in this museum, you can... Uh, you can uh, see this uh, museum on the internet. Uh, it's FOSS, is the short name. F O Z, like zebra, uh, FOSS. And you can tell how it looked like with much uh, three dimen dimensional uh, pictures and it's about um, how uh, uh, Englishmen, Christian uh, and Muslims uh, was building uh, Palestine in the time of the after the Second World War, how they were friends to build up. But today, it's like uh, they were tricked to uh, give so much money and working on Palestine when, uh, when Arabic... Uh, countries want it to be Palestine only and not split in different countries. Uh, so in that, when I was in the museum, it, uh, it was, uh, I have talked about it many times here, that it was a, a tree and uh, before we started to walk around in the museum, they took a picture of us. And we were only, I think we were four people that look around. 
a, a picture of me and uh, in the end of uh, the museum walking we were like a, a movie theater and it was a tree and out from the tree come pictures and it was picture of ordinary people and and then it started to come people that we knew in the, in the history and uh, then was it famous people and then uh, uh, the last people that come was we that was in the museum that day and uh, they say i i don't know if they say that in in the movie theater, or if I heard it in the air from from God, from uh, the life after death and afterlife. And uh, I don't know, but uh, I heard that voice telling me that uh, we are all connected in one way or another that's what i heard and uh, it sounds uh, it sounds not what it what my brain changed it to to it was i was 100% sure that i should go home from jerusalem and do my DNA. Uh, and it may be strange to to come in that conclusion that those word, words that we in one way or another are connected to each other all over the world. And that make me do my DNA. Don't ask me why. It was only that it was the result of what I heard. So so as soon as I come home and I didn't have any money because I had been to Israel. And, but I, I put together money enough for it to could pay for my a dna a dna test and then i have to eat porridge no i i didn't because i always have have food at home i'm not starving and uh, so uh, and then it's come this result and uh, I was thinking that uh, it must have with uh, Jesus Christ to do this DNA in some way I was thinking when I wait for the result and uh, so I, I, I did. I really didn't know my parents where they come from, not at all. I, I knew, uh, I knew the the village where or city where they come from was uh, where they were born, but not more. And. Uh, I had a, a copy of uh, the family tree made by church books. And uh, when I was on my way to travel to Texas to be married, I was thinking that I will never come back home. In that time, I didn't have, I didn't know God in that time. 
So I was sure that I should stay in the United States for the rest of my life. Uh, it was uh, 1997. And um, so my, my daughter's father and I was driving around and my daughter was with us also. We drive around according to what the church books have told where I come from. So I was in many, many small villages because it was, uh, they were not far away from each other, those, those, um, <clears throat> village that the church books have told me. So when I got the result based on DNA, it showed that uh, maybe 25% of the church books uh, notes was right. But it was much that was not not right in the church books and i know it now when i i do my family tree when i do the research that um, it's very much of these children they were adopted in into a family or uh, like the my grandfather, uh, he come with his mother into a marriage, and there was uh, uh, people. It's more common in the United States that uh, um, relatives take care of of kids from other people in the relatives but they in the books they write in like they are born into a family and sometimes you have seen that it doesn't fit in 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 those years because it can be three children that are born in the same year and uh, it was very hard in the old time if the, if they had three children to get born and get give birth to and they live all the three and and it it was not the same day either. Uh, you can read that sometimes, and because they, uh, it was not the real children of those two uh, parents. They were only adopted. They got money to take care of those children. So that's a. Uh, it doesn't work with the DNA. Uh, the uh, the books, uh, church books, have right in that way that those are those people that live in that house. In that way, or is it right? But then, uh, who have give birth? That's a different story. So. Uh, uh, this I I learned more and more, but this was not uh, what I learned now uh, that I want to talk about in the re recording. It was yesterday. I I I thought I was really in uh, in the. In the tracks, in the uh, done the most of 
what I know about the DNA results. And then uh, on my mother's side, I, I check it out. Uh, my I open up and should place in those few people that are missing in in her line there, and to my shock, a surprise was it about eight thousand people that was not in the family tree of my mother. And um, I'm wondering, why is it like that? And um, when I did the DNA test, the first one, because I did a second one, because I was not sure that the DNA was right, but it was the same result in the second um, DNA test I did uh, and uh, it is uh, I know when I did that it was a voice saying that to me that I have to hurry up be quick to do my DNA and so I did it even if I didn't have the money I pay for it because I knew it was very important that is going to be quick, the, the result. And um, uh, what I get uh, in most of the, the first DNA result was uh, all the way down in the family tree from from the start like we call it uh, Adam's ribs so far down and it was I would be surprised uh, that's why I was thinking it's, this is not right uh, because it was Africa uh, in all the roots of my family tree and this was a result from both my my parents. And I was thinking, uh, it doesn't right. So it says uh, where I come from, the, the first DNA to find. And uh, it was in Tanzania and South Africa and... Uh, uh, it was uh, third uh, that where is where they are very uh, short in uh, in their body they are like a dwarf uh, a tribe where I come from and uh, and this is things that doesn't show up today. That was what I got when I did it very fast, uh, sending the test. So in that way was it very important that I did very quick because then it started to be popular to do the DNA test and then it was many branches hide it the deepest but I got the deepest and I have safe I have stored it so I can see what was from the beginning and uh, that uh, they come from Africa up to North Africa and then uh, so uh, they were spread, so many come to Israel, and and then they spread to come to to France and England and come up to to Sweden, and um, 
and the one branch was earlier there were Vikings that come to England also. So it's a mix between those people that coming from Israel, Africa, and those people that come as Vikings. So I have I have DNA in Iceland and Greenland. Do I have one person that have in Greenland that have a DNA together with me? And um, so, so it was very important to do it. But now I see something else coming up that why I should be very fast to do my DNA. And I have been working very hard to create this uh, family tree. And uh, that is because though I am a member of uh, the Mormon Church, LDS Church, and they are like, they have taken over very much of the 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 family trees organizations. They they have put like uh, like they are police. So yesterday there was one man that was from the church that was a police and he he was talking to me about uh, how I am connected to the Mormon church and he say I was wrong and uh, I be angry because I have heard it many times they they tried to to de- destroy our history because what they are saying as I am a member uh, they were telling me that I should do my family tree and they say in five generation they don't want more than five generations family tree and that means five generation it's going up to Joseph Smith if you are connected to him and many are connected to him as it, it, there was many kids born into that church and so they don't like because the story of the Mormon church started that they come um, it's not much about that they come from England or Scotland or Wales uh, to America it's uh, it started like about how they travel in America um, Joseph Smith's father and he as a child was travel around in the United States and uh, they don't like when I'm saying that I am I'm related to Joseph Smith family uh, his father and mother both are, is in my family tree Joseph Smith mother and father and they come from England to America, and uh, and I uh, are telling that my uh, in my family tree is it most royals, is nobles people that is in my tree, and. Uh, that 
showing me that they were not poor. The Mormon Church, they want you to believe in the fairy tale that they come as poor people and they were walking the whole way have uh, some wagons with their what they own uh, and uh, and had it uh, behind them and uh, took the, those wagon and walk around and was very poor so they don't like to that I have the connection uh, with the royal family so I know that they had the money when they come to to America and they maybe be supported also uh, from England and from the royal and nobles people and uh, they so they were they are that's a lie that they put up that they had had no money they were walking 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 nothing then that it is a, a story about the poor people how they could manage their life because uh, God helped them and that's it and uh, that's a lie and now I see that they have a race they have taken away all the all those royals in my family tree they have taken away every one that was wealthy people that come to America and was uh, talk about uh, being in, in the church and I have have many people from my family tree that come to America and was these pioneers for the church and help Joseph Smith to build many houses and churches in America uh, so in that way I see that they have a race those people from my family tree because they don't want people to know the, the truth the truth was they were not poor and many of them doesn't walk. There were where they could pay for uh, horses uh, and wagon to sit and uh, travel in. But the, the, it it's a lie. And uh, I know today now why did God wanted me to join this church and why did God help me to could could go to come to Salt Lake City to Utah and find out of many things of it uh, that uh, that was lie and uh, I could read about my ancestors. They, my ancestors, they they, they come from England and and they built many things there, of the money they had with them. And um, so this, I was wondering why I should join the church. And why I should do my DNA. And this is the answer of it. They try to destroy the connection with the royal and nobles and uh, famous people in the past, in the 1800. Uh, so it should not be connected 
with Joseph Smith and the the money should not be connected with Joseph Smith heritage where he's coming from uh, it should be like he was a real hero poor boy that was going out in the forest and met those uh, those people from afterlife that talked to him and gave him things like that so now you know that that you that have followed me uh, i didn't know it maybe will come more uh, knowledge what have going on in the past but this is the answer of the question why sh- should i do my dna and why should i i did the dna first and then i joined uh, the mormon church i heard it from god saying that so i was wondering why but now i know the answer is w- was to find out the lies and what it was what is going on today that they try to stop everything that have with royals in Europe to do so yeah, that have with Joseph Smith to do he must be a poor boy that's the hero of the fairy tale so thank you for listening to me and it may be coming more truth from heaven for you to know and me to know also god bless you